everyone. Uh, thanks very much for sending through a bunch of questions. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll try and answer as many as I can. Um, there's a couple of interesting ones on here, so I may as well get the worst question out of the way first. Has Midge ever got you out in the nets or in a game? Um, I can pretty confidently say she's never got me out in a game, um, but in terms of net sessions, um, probably every net session she bowls to me, which, um, yeah, she's fine. Yeah, she's fond of picking up a ball and, and throwing it down. So, um, too many, too many times, unfortunately, in training, but that's okay. Okay, uh, the next question is, the hardest bowler to face in WBBL? Um, oh, there's a number of tricky bowlers out there. I think, um, oh, someone that flies under the radar but has a lot of has a lot of success um, is Nicole Bolton. Um, she often gets a handy couple of overs in for the scorches in the power play um, and she's been pretty successful with that so um, yeah Boltsy um, or probably any left arm orthodox spinner for me I'm a little bit terrible against them as well. Uh, the bowl in future uh, probably non-existent uh, retired a couple of years ago for a good reason it, it would never go straight uh, could get a bit of pace up but uh, direction was definitely lacking so you certainly won't see me uh, bowling out on the, the field again. My golf handicap uh, to work in progress. Obviously, couldn't play uh, over the last sort of six to eight weeks, so I've had a couple of rounds of late. Uh, and certainly, on my to-do list to get my my golf handicap and um, see if I can get it down a little bit because I think it'll be pretty high. Do things on my own schedule, I guess, and not have to do it at certain points. And I've really enjoyed being home for a little bit and not travelling around too much. So uh, yeah, if I wasn't able to exercise, I think it would have probably uh, gone a little bit mad. My training in uh, isolation, uh, I've been doing a little bit of running, I've uh, been able to acquire a little bit of gym equipment from different sources and, and do a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's been nice to... We've just done the 2K time trial, so if I had to choose between the 2K time trial once a week or coriander once a week, uh, I'd probably have to go with coriander after uh, the feeling that uh, the 2K I brought today. My favourite ground to play on uh, would be the Adelaide Oval. Best singing voice in the team, uh, Sophie Molyneux. To lead uh, the Australian team to victory in the T20 World Cup was very special and uh, something I'll certainly remember. For a long time, the crowd was amazing, you know, 86,000 people and uh, you know the group played, played so well. So it was nice to be able to celebrate uh, women's cricket and everything that had happened before. And um, yeah, it was just such an exciting night. <laughs> okay, uh, the next question, who would you rather be stuck with forever? Option A, Megan Schutt, or option B, Megan Schutt? Um, and it might surprise you that that question also came from Megan Schutt. So um, I feel like there's only one answer to this question, and is that is that, um, Shooter, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life together with you. <laughs> uh, someone's asked, how's the cycling going? Thanks very much for the question. Um, yeah, I've invested um, in a, a push bike and um, and ashamedly a lot of lycra as well. So I've got all the all the gear, uh, but not much idea. Uh, I've been pedaling a little bit around Melbourne. Um, fortunately, that's pretty flat. I took my bike up to Sydney a couple of weeks ago and um, found out very quickly that Sydney's got a lot more hills um, and I'm not as fit as what I thought I was. But um, I've been really enjoying it, particularly on a nice sunny day. Um, it's really nice to get out for a few hours. And um, yes, I have sat in a cafe wearing lycra as well over the last couple of weeks. So um, as I said, I think I've got all the, all the gear and no idea and I'm, I'm doing it as best as I can. Uh, if I could copy any shot from any cricketer, um, what would it be? Well, I wouldn't mind um, all of Virat Kohli's catalogue of shots. <laughs> that would be pretty amazing. Um, besides, besides that, um, certainly Mike Hussey's cover drive um, and maybe Brendan McCullum's cut shot. They would be uh, my picks. Sorry, and I'll add one more to that because I've been on the receiving end of it way too many times. Um, and that would be Elisa Healy's shots over cover. Um, they're pretty brutal. Do I have uh, any advice for a 14 year old girl who wants to play cricket for Australia? Um, yeah, I, I think just go out and have some fun. Um, make sure you play in a team with some mates and um, 
yeah, have some coaches that you really enjoy, enjoy doing work with. And um, I think as many balls as you can hit and, and bowl and catch and throw, um, the better you're going to get. And you do that for lots of years and um, keep enjoying it and keep wanting to learn. And um, it's amazing where things will take you. Good luck. <laughs>